Hello, welcome back. This is Beamer Merchants. Today we're gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the arm, the center armrest out of an old one BMW X5 model. This removal process should work for the 4.4 and the 3.0 models from 2000 to 2003. Maybe even newer models from four, uh, 2004 to 2006. However, we haven't come across those models so we wouldn't know for sure but anyhow let's get started tools we're gonna use today I'm gonna use my favorite tool the husky here some cutters screwdriver and a 20 torx bit with this particular removal process I've gone ahead and removed the front seats so you can go ahead and get a better view and also the reason why is we're gonna have we're gonna offer you two removal processes. It's really up to you which one you decide to uh, choose. We begin with the obvious. We got uh, we need to go ahead and open this cover. You do by pressing the center or the top button. It should come off. Okay, so that's one right there. However, um, this is not the right one. Let's close this one here. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and lift this whole cover up. The handle is on the bottom here. Press it and it comes out. Then what you need to do is, oh look, some oregano there. By the way, this is not my car. We just came across this car to part out. So anyhow, what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and remove the this cover here. Pretty simple process. I take my favorite tool. I go ahead and very carefully, I don't want to go ahead and cut anything, just wedge the edge here and pop this cover out. Then what you do is you go ahead and take the cover out and just slide it out. Take it out. Now what we need to do is we need to pay a focus on two Phillips screws. Uh, let me see if I can focus my camera. There's one right there and there's another one right there. Let's go ahead and take those two off. Once you remove those two screws, um, those two screws are actually holding your rear vent, which I'll show you in a minute. But once you remove those screws, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and very firmly press out the way I did. And you'll see why on the other end. The reason why you pressed out is because the vent, this rear uh, vent is held in place let me go ahead and remove it okay you see that right there the two screws we're holding those two right there and what I meant is see this housing here this housing here is actually tucked in here okay so either way either you want to push it from the opposite side or once you get here uh, with a sharp object just go ahead and push it out with your hands out and it should come out Okay, so uh, since we're removing the center armrest, we're gonna leave this as is and continue with the removal process Okay, what you want to do now is As I pan my camera down here, you're gonna notice that there are two screws. There's one right there And there's another one right there that's a 20 Torx, I believe. Go ahead and remove those screws. And what's going to happen is once you take those screws off, you should be able to lift this armrest. Okay, I went ahead and removed those two screws. And just to um, correct myself, that was a 25 Torx. Okay, so those are the screws that you need to remove um, in order to remove the armrest. Now here is the uh, removal process that I want to show you. This is the first step, or the first option, uh, actually. Once you remove, okay, so once the screws have been taken off, this is pretty much ready to come off. The only thing that's holding it in place are there's two wires right there. There's a wire here and another wire here. And this uh, particular armrest had the, um, the car phone in it and the way we know that is if we open it see as you can see at one point there was a phone here okay so now 
if you're gonna go ahead and put a phone in your car and you don't want to cut any wires then wait for the next step however if you don't really care whether you keep the phone or not you just want to remove the armrest pretty simple what you need to do is you need to go ahead and pop this cover here and again you start from back here actually and you remove it and if you look under here the cable the cables come up here what I did in this case is I went ahead and cut this the wires why because I'm not gonna go ahead and use it so then if you do that you are pretty much done you just remove this piece here okay this comes off and then you're able to go ahead and close this item back and then you're able to remove the uh, wires I would also go ahead and cut them from here okay then I'll just pull it out as I did here went ahead and cut it I'm able to remove the armrest and pretty much this is how it looks so if I was gonna replace it on another vehicle I can just go ahead and do the re reverse uh, process to install it and I should be clear now if you want to go ahead and keep all the wires intact what you need to do is you need to go ahead and disconnect them from under the the uh, center console here and um, obviously you will need to remove the seats because if the seats here you're not going to be able to have enough room to remove it and pretty much what you need to do is you need to remove these covers here these carpet covers and what you do is you uh, wedge a flat screwdriver back here and you pop it from here from the back what you do is you pull it out as you can see I've done that already there are three pins holding this place and there's another one here and then towards the end you see that part right there once the pins have been pulled out you can easily slide it to your right and it should come out however if you try to uh, pop it from here start from this process you're gonna go ahead and break this pin okay so pretty much you gotta do this on both sides and you need to follow the wires the wires come back here they intertwine see there's one right there and the other one is on the opposite side again that's up to you if you don't want to cut any wires you have to do that process um, otherwise again if you don't really care about your uh, the wiring um, in terms of you know uh, in installing a uh, car phone in here then you're pretty much done just cutting it replacing it and getting on with your day anyhow uh, we're doing a series on another video we're gonna go ahead and show you how to remove this wood trim which uh, is very accessible for cracks so if you want to go ahead and replace your wood trim Make sure you watch our uh, series of videos that we're going to provide pretty soon. Other than that, if you have any questions, comments, be sure to check out our website. See what, you, uh, what part you need. Purchase it from there. And again, thanks for watching. You have a great day.